So you never really time how long you're in the sun. Um, accidents happen, you get a sunburn, you know. How do you take care of your skin when that happens? And there are four things in my arsenal that I like to use in the summertime. Um, oh, there's a fly in my house. <laughs> there are four things that I like to use uh, in conjunction with a good um, primer, a good sunscreen, um, a good, you know, all around package. And first is a great moisturizer. Um, that'll help your face rehydrate um, you know if the sun seems to burn it you know what happens is the UV rays go through your skin and start to kind of bake the elastin and collagen and all that lovely stuff um, so first is a moisturizer second is my absolute favorite product in the entire world the uplift eye serum I use this on everything I even use it on my hair if my hair gets fried um, this is chock full of uh, vitamins a B CoQ10 you name it it's got vitamin E everything um, this product is absolutely amazing I find in the summertime the place I use this the most is actually on my lips um, I get severely sunburned lips there's that fly again <laughs> I'm gonna have to take care of him but um, because of uh, my, my burn that I had, uh, my lips get super, 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 super sunburned. Even if I'm wearing, you know, anything, a, a lip bonbon with SPF in it or um, any kind of moisturizer for my lips, it's still they still get really burnt. So I like to use the Uplift Eye Serum as an active recovery as well as a hydration for my lips and that actually helps prevent um, any scarring or tissue damage um, honestly my favorite product hands down and you know what I I thought about sitting out in the Sun and getting myself a burn just so that I could prove to you guys how amazing the refresh uh, rose water is it's not just a toner it works amazing on soothing and cooling sunburns and actually getting your skin back to normal really really fast so this honestly is a presenter summer must-have um, is rose water it it works awesome for helping sunburns so this is really key for helping you with your skin after you've had all that skin care and I also recommend everyone always recommends you stay properly hydrated. This is free. <laughs> water is free here, so it's uh, unless you buy bottled water and not sparkling. Scar sparkling's got a lot of uh, salt in it, so that'll actually dehydrate you. Hold on a second, but delicious. Um, sparkling water will dehydrate you. So in the summer, you may feel, oh yeah, I'm gonna have you know a vodka and Perrier, or I'm going to drink sparkling water because it's sparkling but the bubbles actually are deceiving it will dehydrate you so staying properly hydrated is great because it's going to actually keep your face and the oils in your face working properly and keeping your skin working properly now another great thing that i like to do when i um have put too much product on my face you know i'm constantly applying sunscreen so my pores get clogged um I like to give myself a little bit of a facial every once a week. Uh, I use my uh, unique cleanser. I use a little, like a little tiny pea-sized drop, and I actually take uh, my husband's used coffee grinds and I blend it in and make myself a little scrub. Now, the great thing about the coffee grinds is that actually the tannins in the coffee work awesome at um, toning the skin as well. So I am sloughing off dead skin I'm getting rid of excess product I'm kind of working out the sunscreen from the week and I am actually giving myself a great base to start with for four days to come and for my lifetime to come so this is a great tips and tricks for you to try and implement in your summer routine um, so that you know you can prepare your face and keep your face and your skin 100% and go out there and enjoy some sun and don't worry about uh, when you slip up and you get some burns because I got products to help you with that. <laughs> Alright guys, talk to you later.